What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Guess what? This is your weekly podcast in the Sakamichi Series Auto Group. It's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Kiaki Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshi Moto Zaka 46. We're on Season 2, Episode 33. I'm one of your hosts. I'm Jimmy, a.k.a. Swole Talker. And I'm joined, as always, by my friends, and my fellow hosts. We got Boy Boy Coon and Josh, Mr. Hello. Josh Box. How's it going, How are fellas? you? Doing okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, dude. Um, Anyone do anything interesting this week? I feel like this is class. <laughs> For some no. reason, when I said that, I feel like I was we a all teacher. Class. Like, did any <laughs> any students do anything good this week? Raise your hands. <laughs> no, 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 it's, no, it's, oh, it's always the one. <laughs> Timmy, what'd you do this weekend? Uh, well, yeah. well, I didn't really do anything uh, this weekend. But <laughs> see, uh, I think I'm not sure if I mentioned on the show or if I mentioned it just to you guys when we're chilling. But uh, I've been playing a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV, right? Mm. MMO. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, I originally started it because uh, my my sibling was was looking for a game that they could play with uh, with her with the person that they're dating, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Oh yeah, you know, like would be a fun game that we can just hang out in." I was like, "Oh, like sounds like you want you guys want to play an MMO." I used to play quite a bit of uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, mm-hmm. Don't really play much anymore, but if you guys started playing, oh, you know, I'll, I'll help you guys along. Uh, Carry you guys. One of our other friends uh, still plays, so. We could link up with them on on that on their server. You know, they got like a their whole like uh, guild, or it's called Free Company. Um, so those two just stopped playing. Left left me out to dry. <laughs> but uh, what is it? But you know, I'm, I, I've I've been hanging out on there. Uh, I haven't been playing super hardcore, but uh, mainly kind of like social playing. And it's just it's such a cute game. I don't know. I feel like it was kind of what I needed no crazy raids for, for mm-hmm. quarantine. Well, I've, I've done a couple raids. They're, they're pretty fun, but, um, mm. what is it? Mainly, um, the social aspect of it, I think is really, it's really nice. Like, uh, what I was going to say was Thursday. I went to a wedding. Um, <laughs> uh-huh. cause, uh, okay. apparently, uh, my, uh, my friend's boyfriend, uh, got invitations to a wedding to, to give out to, uh, the free company. And so mm. they're just like, Oh, Hey, dude, you want to go to a wedding? I was like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we went to we went to the city of Ulda, got some suits and dresses. <laughs> mm. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, got nice. you know hung out, got to dress the, appropriately. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 dude. And then we we went out to the the forest for a nice uh, beautiful forest wedding, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't oh, know. Nice. It's just I don't know. For me, it was just super cute because it's just like I, I miss I doing social things, dude. And mm. granted, while well, mm-hmm. it's not exactly the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it is like a, a simulation thereof. I think mm-hmm. Final Fantasy does those the most or the best, I guess, right? Like having these like uh, like huge MMO gatherings type thing, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, the wow, like Wreckful when he passed away, mm-hmm. right? Like mm-hmm. a bunch of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, people had And like WoW a... came through mm-hmm. and like did this whole like, you know, I guess like wake, right? Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But then you can't change your wow characters like outfit can you i don't know how it is now but like it's just people short of giant like shoulder armor like mm. <laughs> you know but i guess like final fantasy you can actually like buy clothes and whatnot because right? mm. like, yeah, there's like yeah. armor and then there's cosmetics right Layered yeah it's called stuff. glamour I, I think they mm-hmm. have the same thing but it's called something else in wow mm. oh but, okay. um, yeah. yeah yeah so you can you can actually skin it onto the armor that you're wearing so you still have all the stats and stuff like that but it looks nice right 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 you know, so some people, you know, want to Fashion. keep their stuff looking armor. Sometimes people just want to look all casual and cute, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. One of, one of my friends. Some want to look in, lewd, like those of us in Monster Hunter. Oh, there's a lot of that, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, like one of my one of my friends is just like a, a bunny butler during dungeons and stuff like that. Just coming out with his sword. I'll protect you guys, dude. I'll take you, dude. <laughs> I'll take this. <laughs> it's like, yo, you don't got no armor, dude? Oh, man. But yeah, I don't know. I felt like it was like kind of kind of nice to just feel like i'm going to do something uh social mm-hmm. you know um but yeah for for the people in the chat asking um there was a new patch i'm not i'm not quite there yet because uh i'm playing on an old character that uh i'd stopped playing on years ago mm-hmm. but unfortunately with work and school and stuff i just don't mm-hmm. quite have the time to grind through the game as quickly as i'd like mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. but hopefully i'll get there soon i've, I've heard Really good thing. So that's why a lot of people actually started playing again. Because mm. it was like a, like a new patch. And right now it's like it's a free trial up to level 60. 
I believe. Oh, wow. Ooh. So, um, so if anyone's nice. looking to play it, uh, meet me in meet me in Cactar. <laughs> I know my brother was meet playing. Me outside. Outside. I, I think he, I think he was trying to be all the missions, like in the entire game plus the the expansions. Mm. He was like a couple down. A couple down. He just needed like the last two expansions. Mm. I was like. <laughs> Play too much, but right now he's taking a break, so <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. True game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I haven't played Final Fantasy. I, I haven't played any other Final Fantasy MMOs. I just play mm-hmm. Final mm. Fantasy. Yeah. I feel like if I start playing, I'll be like too addicted to it. Yeah, this was uh this is actually the game that got me to stop playing MMOs for a long time. Mm-hmm. Cause uh, I actually played it okay, so this is my third time playing Final Fantasy XIV, to be mm. honest. The first time was when it actually first came out. Oh, when it was like all different, right? Uh, well, like when Realm Reborn first came out. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I was super excited because like, I was like, oh, dude, you know, I used to I used to love MMOs. I haven't played an MMO in a while. And then so when, th- when it came out, I just went ham. Like I think <laughs> it was like two weeks straight of playing. You know, and like, okay, wake up, play, go to sleep. Yeah, 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 pretty much. And this is a, you know, it was like summer break. I was like early in college and stuff like that. But this is, Mm -hmm. this is really gross. I'm kind of ashamed of this, but it is what it is. So I remember after like two weeks, I was like, okay, I need to go, I need to leave the house. I can't just keep Mm -hmm. playing this. (laughs) All right, I'm going to go to the gym. And I was like, yo, I should really shower first. (laughs) But then like, uh, I was like, ah, you know, I'm going to just go to the gym. I just like, you know, I'm just going to like deodorize, you know, like, and I'll shower after, right? I don't want to. Shower mm-hmm. twice. I should have showered twice. But anyways, <laughs> I get there and then because I'm like, who am I gonna really see at the gym? I'm just gonna work out and go home. Mm-hmm. End up seeing like one of my gym crushes at the time. She's like, oh man, mm-hmm. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm like, oh yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't stand near me. Yeah, yeah, dude. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go over there. <laughs> yeah, being all distant, you know. I was Damn. like, oh, I, 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 I pretty much, I probably smell like uh, an anime convention right now, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your musk jimmy wow so yeah if you so, want to yeah. join jimmy and slay no just be casual not slay mm-hmm. monsters but mm-hmm. me him and cactar guys yeah me me and cactar <laughs> but anyways that's that's been me and final fantasy how have, have you guys been well i think we're all are all our classes started right I'll, i started this yeah. week it's kind of a disaster for everybody. Oh no! <laughs> mm, so, just trying to um, get everything sorted. Yeah, like you know, nobody, like my professors, you know, professors don't know what they're doing. Yeah, oh, no. they, you know, it's like their first time switching over to like fully mm-hmm. online mm-hmm. and stuff. And mm-hmm. There was that whole thing with Zoom that like crashed or something. Oh yeah, it like went down. Zoom for, went right? down mm-hmm. for a long time, so a lot of classes were postponed for the day or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so it was, it was all bad and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm supposed to have scheduled classes, right? Like, oh, do a Zoom meeting from this time to this time. It's like mm-hmm. the same shit. But nope, my professors are like, uh, I'm just going to do the lectures and then upload it for you guys. I'm like, oh, no, dude. Dude, at least you're getting lectures. My class is like, read this book, answer this quiz this week. All right, next week, do the same thing until the finals. Oh, God. See, like, what? it's, it's good and bad for me. Um, like, you know. It's good because you know I can just access that anytime or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Just listen to them. But well, that's the problem in itself, right? Or whatever. But then, yeah, I also have to be a lot more responsible. Yeah, be accountable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's pretty week's... free this this week because everyone's just kind of like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, don't I mean, know. it's the first couple of weeks, right? Everyone's just like, oh, yeah, just usually it's like online class. They like, oh, here's all the shit. Get everything done, you know. But now mm-hmm. it's, it's just chills. Like, oh, there's no really a hard due date for anything <laughs> except for the final. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here I am. <sighs> whatever. Hey, we're all struggling together. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, struggle dude. together, everyone. I, in, in a weird way, it's kind of nice, dude. It's just like, okay, I'm I'm not the only one struggling to figure this out, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, Josh, what's up? How you been? Same shit. I've been good. Um, same for me. Um, I finally progressed on developing a style for my photo book critiques. Oh yeah. Ooh. I sent. Here we I go. sent the, the boys here. 
a picture of it. Um, mm. Right now, I have the B-roll covered, like the actual opening mm. of the photo book, which I think I'm going to record separately from me actually talking. Um, uh, okay. I'm still yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm still like trying to figure it out. But the B-roll looks nice. I'm trying to make it more aesthetic, not just like pure black. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now I need to make my talking head part more aesthetic. And that's the part mm. that's difficult because I have no space for it. Mm. LED tubes, anybody? <laughs> Tarf- I need plants. That's what I learned. I mean, yeah, that's what I, I see a lot of YouTubers do. Like tech reviewers, right? Um, mm. Those that are talking head, they might have it in their hand. But it's not the same overhead shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It might be harder for so photo books because, like, I'm kind of talking about the photo, and then I kind of like show it. Ah, true. So it's gonna be like a lot of cutting back and forth. Mm. So I to, once I get it, like all the footage, then I could figure it out. Maybe you but did it meantime, backwards, <laughs> like oh, shooting the B roll first, right? Because usually you shoot oh, your yeah. A roll, so you know what you covered, and then for the B roll, you already know, like, oh, I need to get a shot of this. Uh, I was mm. gonna say maybe I would, if I were you, I'd just record the talking head. Uh-huh. Use cut the audio, and then from that make your shot list. Mm. Well, then, Back to right. the drawing board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's <laughs> I mean, different ways. There's know. different ways you can. No, go yeah, about yeah, it. No, no, that, that makes sense. That makes sense because then you like maybe you could like listen to it and then like open the book and then like follow along with it or something. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a you 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 try different things, see what works best. Yeah. yeah. But I kind of wanted to, like I, I was focusing on getting the. The actual like look of the over the the table shot like looking good, so I wanted to yeah. get that out of the way too. Okay, yeah. So look out Chats for a asking, new review. Chat's asking oh, where the yes, Bemiho Chat. photo book is. Oh, uh, review is where? Yes, uh, where? I, I apologize. I've been super busy, <laughs> but it will come out. That I assure you. Uh, the book is literally like right there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, look out for the Bemiho review coming soon mm-hmm. all right let's get into the show. yeah, yeah let's, um, let's get in let's get into it we got mm-hmm. the comment of the week where josh chooses a comment from previous uh video episode whatever it may be what is this week all right this week is from brian m thank you for the comment i knew it was gonna be this one <laughs> and they say i find it funny when you guys are joking and comparing the number of subscribers of the Idols YouTube channel oh, with low number shit. of videos. All right. It's not funny. It's a serious issue. You know, <laughs> we have solo subscribers compared to them and they have like one video, sometimes not even no videos, but yet they have way more subscribers than us. I'm saying that's a, it's a glitch or they're hacking into the system or something. I'm calling it. It's, uh, the YouTube algorithm is against us. Um, they're mm-hmm. just not showing any of our videos to the users. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, that, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, maybe they're hiding the subscribe <laughs> button from us. Like, 60% of right. you who watch the podcast regularly aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel. When, when, so when clearly, you visit it must be our channel, from them. the subscribe button just are you, isn't Are you there. sure it has nothing to do with the show being hosted by three crusty dudes versus uh, <laughs> Mayan's channel being Shiraishi Mai's channel? <laughs> but when she has no video, she has no content to prove that it's a good channel, right? I mean, so clearly it must be... Like her hacking into it. I mean, maybe she's like Dude, over there, you know, our, just our, typing it in. Okay, our yeah. mistake, Josh, is thinking mm. that people come to YouTube for content. Mm. So, in comparison okay. from okay. from okay. last week, right, um, where she had a uh, some three hundred thousand subs with no video. That was before mm-hmm. her um, mm-hmm. live sh- birthday live stream. One week later, right? If we if we check back. On mm, this yeah, let's Shirai circle back. Shimai. Circle back. Yeah, uh, we are at eight hundred forty-nine thousand subs. With See, clearly, two there's videos. something wrong because we we only got fifty Something's, subscribers in the, in the past month. Something is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, well, where so, she had five hundred. Yeah, yeah. About fifty man. So. Well, see, even then, we're making the wrong kind of fan content. All right. Like us coming together, compiling the news and discussing. So you're saying it. we need to make baseball videos, like like she did? No, dude. We need to. We need to like. We need to just post up pictures from photo books, dude. Because that's the kind okay. of fan content that there gets views. Go. All right. Mm, you, yes. That my end stuff. Okay, I would jokingly get mad about that. Whatever. But that, but the the photo book YouTubers, <laughs> like not the people doing reviews, but just the people straight up putting a slideshow of photo books. 
Oh, that that's what grinds my gears, dude. That's what <laughs> that makes See, me for so one thing, mad, dude. Uh, it, they're, they're just like taking the content, right? Like the yeah, exactly. The reviewers, they're, they're not even putting up their are, are, anything. They're they're profiting off of yeah. the content that somebody else created, right? Would that be the same thing as like people who just upload like the the music videos or upload like concert songs or upload like. I, Again, I, like the photo book. Is I, would all say, category? I would say that this is almost worse because you're taking money out of people's pockets, dude. Mm. Because it's like, why would I buy this photo book when I can just click on this YouTube channel and See, I think, watch it for free? But it's not even the same. Like, the experience is totally like the, the, different. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, I know that. But I'm just saying yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's like textbook copyright, right? Like, you're, you're actually yeah. like not only infringing it upon scans, this, like their content, right? their intellectual property, you, you're also like... Uh, creating competition within the market for that product. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? It's, it's like, kind of different from the the music video ones, right? Those get taken down, right? They, mm-hmm. they, like, I mean, most of the time, yeah. Like the, the Nogi, whatever, bless those mm-hmm. guys who upload the TV performances. But those guys know that their channels are not meant to last because the TV <laughs> stations will eventually mm-hmm. find them. Mm-hmm. And and but here, see the the thing about them is like what, what are, are they really taking, like views away from those TV stations? No, right? Because it's like who's who's watching it? People that either a already watched it on TV and just want to watch it again, or b people who couldn't watch it on TV, right? Yeah, because mm-hmm. those TV channels don't upload those anyway. Because mm-hmm. if they did, then those. Yeah. Channels yeah. wouldn't exist. Like well, they wouldn't need they to exist. Exactly. They're, they wouldn't they're need to put in all the work yeah. of like ripping mm-hmm. all the stuff. And mm-hmm. but why would some some dude in in the middle of California? I'm just gonna throw California because that's uh-huh. us. You know, I don't want to yeah, yeah. put some other person on blast. Buy a photo book on Amazon.co.jp, which they can using our affiliate link down below. <laughs> when they yeah. when they can just go on YouTube and look at it for free, right? Mm-hmm. Like I mean, there obviously there are reasons, right? Like you said, like yeah. the experience is different, but like it's. It's actually taking like, yeah. It's just it's full on creating a different competition within for the same market, like for the same product, mm-hmm. right? And, like, and that's uh, different than like having like a music video that sells because that that actually adds content to it and adds benefit. Mm. Yeah, like I like was gonna say, like yeah? okay, for example, my my so Sankyo reaction video got got smitten by uh by the gods that be of AKS and YouTube, right? They mm-hmm, smote mm-hmm. that video so hard, right? Um, and I, I, I actually try to make a case, right? Like, mm-hmm. well, this this video doesn't really uh, replace any kind of market value that the original mm-hmm. Sosenkyo has. People aren't yeah, coming to this. Fair use, right? Yeah, people aren't coming to watch this instead of the Sosenkyo. They're watching this because they want my reaction to the Sosenkyo, or, mm-hmm. or in this case, the the SoCal Forty Eight Group's reaction to the Sosenkyo, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're they're here for the reaction. There's just this this footage I'm using is merely there to add comment, like add context. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that still got blasted, right? Mm-hmm. Why Why are you watching a video of someone go through this photo book? It's because you want to see the photo book. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. is why I don't show all the photos in my photo book. Ex- yeah, exactly. I actually, I actually, I mean, I actually really respected that. Your, like, yours uh, is fine long, anyway. Long, it, yeah, yours is before. just like a top-down shot. And those those other videos are like scans or whatever, right? Yeah, exactly. There are people who do who do top-down and just like are silent and just like flip through flip the pages. Through yeah, those mm. those people can also eat my bat. I was gonna say eat my my ass, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I was I was like oh, I should change it to butt, but I was like no, I mean what I was. Um, but anyways, uh, like I don't Thank know. Actually, but before we met, I I I really respect that about your 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 videos, Josh. Was that it was like much it was more so about your opinions on it as a photographer. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, and even back when I did like anime reaction videos, like I, I remember back then when when I did it, everybody would just like stream the whole episode and just like do the reaction with it. But then I would be, I'd be like one of the few ones that would actually like cut it up. Mm. And like, instead of a 25 minute video, it'd be like a five minute video of just like the best parts. Yeah. 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 As, as like, I, I, I always thought like, if they want to watch the content, they can watch it and just watch me for just like my opinion on it. Like, I don't want them to like replace the original content. Yeah. But yeah. So this has been our long rant on copyright and, and what succeeds on, <laughs> on YouTube, which, Point uh, is, damn which breaks you, my heart. My Ann. Being GD so the system. Damn, damn popular. But she is now the well, she's still an idol, right? Because she's still an, she's the idol mm-hmm. with the most subs on YouTube. Mm-hmm. 800 
50k almost. Um, she's gonna be in the big leagues when she hits mm. one million with the popular oh. Japanese actor YouTuber mm-hmm. category. You know, just... when when Shirashimai versus PewDiePie when, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know if it ever get that low. <laughs> um, yeah, if you uh, watch her baseball video, it seems like uh, it's the same. Um, production crew as the um nogichu right mm-hmm. like all the graphics they look pretty familiar you know what i'm I mean, saying why would they not jump on it right yeah exactly yeah, of course. it's like they this know it's just like this can be a success another outlet for them you know she's the talent mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. so it's cool man uh mm-hmm. you know i was I was expecting like the um answer questions for my first yeah. video. To, nope, freaking right, batting we, cages. We're, Let's we're getting go. a whole variety <laughs> show location shoot, dude. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's what you get when you get like producers behind, like mm. doing the different content. So, I, I am glad to nice. see that uh, these uh, idle YouTube channels are getting better. Yeah, All yeah, right. for sure. Mm-hmm. Compared to yeah. how they were originally, it was just like, mm-hmm. let's do an intro mm-hmm. video, then we'll do a question video. And then after that, I'll do like maybe like a, a cooking video. And then I'll answer more it's questions after that. She mm. knows people knows, man. Mm-hmm. Like, why does she write she might need to answer questions uh-huh. that answer questions? Y'all know me like, already. Oh, you, <laughs> I am Shirai Shima, you know, I was a member of Noki San, uh-huh. guys. Man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Know. Like like okay, I really enjoy uh like what is it, Shinoda Mariko just re- put out uh her morning routine. Right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But it's really cute because it's like a lot of it is just involving like her being a mom, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. that stuff that you didn't like. Get. It's like, oh yeah, you gotta wake my baby up, dude. You know, mm-hmm. which is a side we've never seen of her, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like it's actually cool. It's not like the same like, oh, uh, so what was it like being an AK beat member? <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it's it was those fun. interview I questions. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like she was saying anything so, bad. <laughs> um, yeah, just straight to the content. Let's go. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Speaking anyway. of straight to the content, let's get straight to our content with yeah. some of our current events, huh? Um, current events time. No shilling this week, so uh, we broke boys once again. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and subscribe anyway. to us on Twitch, or go ahead and click the affiliate <laughs> links down below. <laughs> time for uh, current events. What's going on in, in Sakamichi series? Well, got a few things to talk about. Usually, we start with. Yoshimoto Zaka and go down the line until Nogi Zaka, but Yoshimoto hasn't released any news, any updates, mm. or anything like that. I think former member Ripopo has also started YouTube. Oh, so yeah, I saw that. if you want to check her out, I don't know her YouTube channel's name. All right, let's talk about Hinata Zaka. They have released the music video for their lead track, Azato Kawaii. Mm-hmm. We tracked for their first album, Hinata Zaka. Um, so it's like a B-Ray Center. Have you guys watched the music video? I have. I have, uh, yeah. What did you think of it the so, song so and video? so aesthetic, dude. Mm. Yeah, so the song, we listened to the radio preview, right? Um mm. Uh, yeah, does it sound better to you or pretty much par for the course? What is uh um are your opinions? It it so it does it I mean it does sound better just because yeah, okay, I can I can hear everything that's supposed mm. to be there, right? But I mean it's it's still exactly what I thought it was going to be. And like uh what is it? It's it's just very reminiscent of a um what is it like old like as far as musically like an old AKB song, right? Mm-hmm. Like uh, with like kind of like some of like uh the guitar lines like the you know some of like the what is it the little interludes between the chorus mm-hmm, and the mm-hmm. the verses you know it's like okay yeah, this yeah. this has the vibes that I and I don't mean that in a bad way it's like the sound that I got no, in no. titles with right yeah yeah I totally agree with you yeah Jimmy. I think when I heard it I was like mm-hmm. there's something that like. AKB could have came out with, but then at the same time, I'm thinking like the lyrics are a little newer AKB ish, where it's like just a whole bunch of filler words in there. And whoa, whoa, yeah, I thought, yeah. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The music video I thought was really well edited. Like for the limited, like 
things that they have. I think the right. editor like went out of their way to add Although, in stuff, add they, in different shots. They popped off well, they, on this, dude. They yeah. popped they off reused for no elements, reason on this, right? Um, mm -hmm. From Seishunoma. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. Yeah, like the uh, the sand kind of shot, the right? Sand. So it, the, it just looks like dresses. Seishunoma, but during the day. Because <laughs> 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 there's the bright shots outside where they have their mm -hmm. half outfits, and then I kind of uh, like the underwater sunlight. look. Um, yeah, they, they have like oh, the, yeah. the underwater look, right? Um, mm -hmm. With the the blue school uniforms, mm -hmm. the ones that has the the mire with the cardigan. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, that's the mm -hmm. center, guys. That's the Kayaki Zaka thing. Um, so yeah, it, it looks. I like some of the shots. Yeah, like Not it uses a lot of the same elements, even throughout the different shots, because the blue theme is there. Yeah, and the outfits are like the thing that changes the most but yet yeah. it feels very fast paced with the song and is able to keep up with the cuts which i really appreciate mm. what the editor did yeah yeah i yeah. think i think I that's think what I, I kind of appreciated too was like uh, just the pacing of the video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um yeah, i, I fits also the tempo right yeah yeah mm -hmm. um i'm also very happy i don't know it's it's been a it's been a thing i've noticed for the past year maybe a few months um we, we're getting really contrasty cinematic shots in my idol music videos and mm, i just i just don't want it to ever stop dude i don't want yeah, it to ever yeah, yeah. end let's remove the idol filter forever <laughs> <laughs> like use it use it sparingly right like yeah. use it for a purpose that's yeah, want, if, if it was like a reason flashback scenes only <laughs> yeah yeah like something like that right or if you had like some kind of narrative reason or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like why it's supposed to look that way mm-hmm but like, yeah, yeah. Like this music video just, this is just aesthetic the whole time, mm -hmm. you know. With like, the lighting though, yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. Like the harsh lighting, but yet the mm -hmm. ratio is nice, so you can tell it's kind of like studio-ish, but it still looks like sunlight. Mm -hmm. I appreciate. I do. That. I uh, I think I like the, the actual underwater shots, the Pokari mm -hmm. sweat stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, there's uh, the like dance the, the, shot that they made look underwater, right? But the actual mm -hmm. ones where the members, like these solo shots of the members, like yeah, in when, the water. Yeah. yeah. I like those shots, especially mm -hmm. the close up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The, close -up the use ones. of close ups in this is really well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. The, the faux underwater shots to me just have that aquarium vibe. Yeah. It's you know just they, I mean? they just mm -hmm. like use the like light glass in a way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which. Yeah, 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 I'm fine with it actually, but I, I do see what you mean because especially when you have the actual underwater shots, you're like, nah, this is it, boy. This is mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it looks nice. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's just it's so much sand. <laughs> mm. Yeah, for um, me, this didn't really improve the song. No, yes, yeah, like like the song is kind of so like the same for me, but I think I enjoyed the music video much more. Mm -hmm. Video is good. There's some nice shots, but like the, the endless white sands. Uh, I don't know about that. Mm. But then it's not like they could have done something else, right? They they were kind of they had wrist uh, constraints, I guess. Because mm -hmm. right? oh, that's true. I didn't even we are in. I didn't even think about uh, that. That is a very good yeah. point. That's mm -hmm. why they probably reused the elements from Seishinoma, mm -hmm. right? Like I I thought that that was maybe. Uh, I don't know. Not, I don't know why it's Yeah, or, or like a callback because it is an album, you know, like an uh, album okay. single. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But, uh, who, who knows? Might be. Um, mm. They, they did. Kageyama's back in the music video? Oh, Look at her. Yeah. Kage and the new third gens are in there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, yeah, they, they also got. Um, well, who knows? It, it, it might also be a continuation. Of of mm. Seishinoma because you know they got Takahiro Sensei the, the choreography mm. again. Ooh, the choreography! I I noticed that like there and, was a couple um, shots where I was like, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all the group dance shots were were very nice. Mm. Like uh, mm -hmm. choreography wise, I I quite enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So you know, it it's it's not like heavily, uh, like a story like. Mm -hmm. Takahiro Sensei would do with Kiaki stuff. Mm -hmm. Just a, uh, you know, nice, cute choreography mm -hmm. that fits the energy of the song. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, 
it's just, it's very serviceable. I, mm-hmm. I I I genuinely like this. Um, I feel like me. Okay, hierarchy wise, I think uh, Doremi is still very hard to beat, in my opinion. Mm. But uh, what is it between uh, I think my like between Sonokoto Nayo, which I felt like had the old AKB sound, but in a very forgettable way. Mm. This was like a way better attempt at it. Mm. You know. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of um, I guess general public listeners would recognize. Oh yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, idol song, right? Since mm. that's what majority mm. of people have heard through AKB, I guess, right? Like the mm-hmm. arrangement. So um, might work out for them. Who knows? I mean, yeah. they're they're kind of at the top, I guess, right now. A lot of people know of them. So mm. uh, we'll see how this does. Well, it's not a single, but it's an album. Mm-hmm, it's just mm-hmm. a lead track. But they, they did also release the track list for Ooh. the album. And as we thought or feared, predicted, whatever, it's a bunch of old songs and like mm. five new songs. Of course. So is the 40- type A, type B... <laughs> So we, no, we got no, we, I won't, we won't get into it this time. We'll let, um, let it go. So so we got the four singles. Mm-hmm. Uh Kyun, Doremi, Konani, Skini Nachate Ino, and then Sonakoto mm-hmm. Nayo. Um and then there are coupling tracks. Mm-hmm. Like all the coupling tracks, it looks like. <laughs> you know, we yeah. even get yeah. My God and Kitsune is there. Oh well, Kitsune, uh, of course. Naze, Naze, mm-hmm. Naze is there. Um, mm-hmm. And then they're doing a re-recording, 2020 version of Dare Yori Mo Takakutobe, No War, and Ooh. Seishin no Tamago. I enjoy No War in the future. Mm. Whoa, whoa. Na, 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 however it goes. Uh, and then we got the new songs called, as Azatakwai, of course, My Fans. Oh, is that, Ta-da. Us? Is that for us? Oh, yeah. It's in English, so I mean... <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, oh, you got the Zaka Watches Slope Club confirmed. confirmed. Six new songs, actually, <laughs> including uh, Zato Kawaii. So, uh, God damn it! Why they gotta do this? It should have just been the four singles, the six new songs, and then the overture. Mm. That's perfect, man. Eleven tracks. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I, okay, a short album. Uh, that's that's abysmal. Like twenty-seven songs in an album. Yeah, and man. only six new ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then of course they're all like going to be distributed through, with the different types, right? Type A. Mm. Oh, uh-huh. we'll get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, type Type B. See, like Type A. Yeah, if you want, we'll have da- like da- no Yorimo. war in the future. And oh, then yeah. Type B has no war. Mm-hmm. Uh, right? And it's like, ah, oh, god damn it, man! Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Like give me like, like the a regular. standard version that just has the A sides, the new songs, and that's it. Yeah, I I want I would like that to be the regular, mm. but nope, the regular is like the same shit. This one will have mm. the Seishin no Tamago one or whatever. <sighs> Three of the newer songs. Mm-hmm. That's how it be. <sighs> that's how it be. Yeah, because uh, at this point, yeah. it's like the best of this year from this year, right? It isn't so much like a, a new mm. album. Yeah, so all, right. all uh, Sakamichi albums are, are the, you look at it more of like a, a best of. Yeah, yeah, the they're, they're all, they just single. release a best of album every year. It's, just, yeah. it's, so, mm. it's so obnoxious, mm-hmm. dude. That's how um, it is. All right, so now that we have um, five new, five A-sides total. From Hinata Zaka. Four. Well, uh, was it Kyun, Doremi, uh, mm-hmm. Konani, Skini, Nachate Ino, mm-hmm. Sonokoto Nayo. And then if we're counting Azato Kawaii, right, as an, as an A side. Okay. Right? Not a single, just A sides. Oh, yeah. um, how would you rank your top five Hinata Zaka A sides? Oh. Ooh. This could be This could be in the comments down below too, but. We're doing how would a you guys, ranking how would you guys right here. 
Mm. All right. Well, Usually it's a guys... separate video, but no, Ooh. we're doing it special for y'all <laughs> just on the <laughs> Slope <laughs> podcast. Let's we'll go. Do a, we'll do a quick one. We won't explain a lot. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for, for me, while you, if you guys are still thinking about it, mine would be uh, Do Re Mi first, mm. uh, then Kyun, mm. uh, then uh, Azato Kawaii, then mm. uh, Sono, Sona Koto Naiyo, and then Konani Skini Na. Mm. All right, all right. Josh, mm. what is your ranking? I think for me it's Do Re Mi, then Kyun, then Sona Koto Nayo, mm. then we got the new one, Azato Kawaii, and then we got Konani Skini Na Chataino. Ooh. Josh just uh, swapped around. Yeah, just, just my, my three and four. My, my tree and uh-huh. four. I think mine would be the same as Jimmy's. Mm. Ooh. Uh, I think I, I just need to listen to Azato Kawaii and Sona Kotonayo more. Mm. I feel like mm. Sona Kotonayo is a little bit more catchy for me. Because those I think two I can remember are... easily. But I guess it's See, unanimous that Konani Skini Nachate Ino is on the bottom. Like, it's not a bad song. Like, like at least no, for me, it's no, not no, a no, bad no. song. No, 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 it's not. It's not. But I just think, like... Someone has to be at the bottom here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, unfortunately, it has happened. Mm-hmm. I think if we're talking music videos, then Konani is somewhere near Yeah, the yeah, top. yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's, it's yeah. very aesthetically pleasing. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, I think... At, uh, um, Doremi and Kyun are kind of like the Hinata. Yeah, mm, yeah, 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 I can see that. That they they kind of laid down. Yeah, and I think I think that also weighs my my judgment of the songs too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. I think I think it, like my only issue with uh, uh, Konani Skinny Nachate, you know, was just that I I just don't think Keiki Zaka okay uh, Hinata Zaka has the vocals that I would like to hear. In a uh, in a ballad like that, mm. Mm. right? Like they have like a very, I mean, not just their fresh image, but vocally that that's like the sound of the group, mm. right? Yeah, not saying that they're not allowed to do any of that. No, of no. I, I, Again, like we said, like it's not a bad song. Mm-hmm. Like we we've, we've listened to other. Why are, are you getting so defensive, Josh? Why are you getting so defensive? <laughs> no, because it's not, like, it's not like I dislike the song. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, it's our least favorite. It's not the worst. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's our yeah. least uh-huh. favorite. Man. Mm-hmm. I, I, um, maybe maybe mm. it could have been fixed in mixing, but I think for the verse, I just or not the verse, the chorus, I just would have liked to hear a little bit more of the mid range, the vocals. It's a little bit mm. too trebly for me, mm-hmm. you know, because you hear some of that and the and the the verse, and that's just that's just a purely preference thing. Maybe I think that's a thing in Japan in general. They actually really like. That kind of high soprano voice, right? But I think for mm. me, for ballads, I like, I like something a little bit more sultry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if that's up a song, it actually fits a lot better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Anyways, yeah, that's what. More of that. Hinata Hinata check album. out our album discussions. Yeah, we're not not the Hinata one, but you know we have others mm. uh-huh. we've done before. Um, yes, Hinata Zaga. The album will be released September twenty third. Mm-hmm. So uh, look out for that if you want a bunch of old songs and then a few new ones that you're gonna have to buy like multiple copies of or type A type whatever. So Hinata also has the covers for their first album. Let us take a look. Type mm. A, type B, and regular. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, so we got some pretty casual looks, uh, kind of a collage type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's similar to uh, which which one? Sonakoto Nayo, is it? The one that different colors for each type. Mm-hmm. Is that what I'm thinking of? I'm liking the theme that they're going with, with that. Wait, I okay, I guess it is. Don't think I like any of these. Oh really? Oh no, I was thinking of Doremi. <laughs> Oh, it was Doremi. Do, Doremi is the one that had the different colors. Yeah, the colors. Oh, I guess they all do, but... Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. I feel like... I guess Anyways. that's their thing. 
Huh. Um, yeah, so type A, of course, has Mi Pan, but also has Kosaka Nao and Osushi and, and them. You don't really get a sense of who's the center. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess that's what they've always done. You know? Yeah, it's not the like centers. just like Techi's face, A side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With, yeah. With all their other covers. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's too busy. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the collage, the collage I, I, look. Yeah. That's why, like, if anything, the regular version is my favorite because it's just two images and they're fairly horizontal. So it's kind of like right. a little bit more balanced mm. looking. You know. Also, but it says then, Hinata Zaka twice. Yeah, yeah. That well, was, I mean, one's the album too. name, but it's, uh-huh. it's yeah. like their name and then the album's name. I see Hinata Zaka in, three times on here. <laughs> yeah, that's what, like all. All I needed was maybe put it in the the. The hiragana and then the just not the cursive romaji at the bottom. I feel like would have been just fine. Mm. Like that, that the white the the white font version. Mm-hmm. I feel like oh, the, okay. the curse the cursive hinata zaka adds to the busyness of of the the cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it it makes me think of a slideshow like a, a slide from a like a tenth grade I-movie. PowerPoint <laughs> from from a tenth grade PowerPoint. Uh-huh. You know who made this? This is Nibu. my this is my favorite idol group, Hinata Zaka, forty six, <laughs> slide A. This the is slides different pictures. This is Sasaki Mire and Kosaka. Na- yeah, and then the pictures coming up as yeah, you. Yeah. As you- <laughs> Nibu made right? this. I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah, Nibu. <laughs> anyway, which one is your favorites? Even though you didn't really look, I mean, you didn't really like. I mean, uh, I, like I said, uh, if I had to pick, it would be it'd be uh, the regular version. Hmm. I just feel like it's the most yeah, yeah. balanced, and yeah, it, yeah. it's like I I can kind of find a centralized place to look. I, Whereas, yeah, I think I'll say the same, hmm. mostly because of of Mi Pan being a cool like <laughs> she got like her hand on her head, and she got like the collared shirt. <laughs> I just want like a cover with just her. With oh yeah, and she's uh-huh. like <laughs> just chilling. Uh, so wait, so which one was your favorite, Jimmy? The uh, regular version. Oh, and boy, my I like Type A because okay. of Mi Pan. Mm-hmm. She got like her, I think her casual like. <laughs> uh, well, I'll say my least favorite first, as I always do. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, my least favorite is B. Oh. Mm. The yes. bottom picture is not doing it for me. That takes me out of everything. And the fact that it's offset to the side with this random like. Nothing around it. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it's just like, like the rest of them are busy, but this one like doesn't even have any organization to it. I feel like. Mm-hmm. I feel like they try to get the uh, light coming through, kind of look mm-hmm. right. Yeah, but um, I just but feel then, like it isn't working. Yeah. I, okay. Uh, to be fair, the bottom pick is like. I, I feel oh. like it doesn't help that we're viewing this on a uh, white background mm. website too, because it's it's kind of hard to discern the borders of it. Whereas, like, if you if you had like a dark mode or something, you can kind of see this is the square, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but still, it just doesn't save it much. I'm I'm just trying to give it some benefit of the doubt here. Whoever designed this, I'm hoping at least had like a, a gray background or something. Mm. So, what? Which one did you like, Josh? Oh, it would be Type A. I feel like Ooh. Mipan's picture just saves it. Yeah, dude, it like, that picture's so, so good. good. <laughs> it is a very nice picture of Mipan. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I Plus, just, like, it's a little bit too bright for me. I, ooh, really? I really like the. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess. Well, it, the, it, it is that like sunsetty look. Exactly. And but then, then when I that, compare it to Meepon's face, and like, the I can Rembrandt tell like, like, lighting, over. dude. Look at that little triangle on her cheek, ooh, dude. That you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I like Osushi's picture too. Mostly, yeah, yeah. The Osushi's pattern behind her. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Uh, but see, that's, a th- that's I think that's my issue. That there, these are all individually nice photos, but the overall. Mm. Collage doesn't do d- doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> she looks like mm. the sun got in her eye. She's like trying mm. to open them all the way. <laughs> I, I also feel like them them having this equally large uh, Kosaka now up there is kind of a cop out. Mm. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I like yeah. thought when the first saw the cover. It's like I thought Mipan was the center. Yeah, <laughs> like Mipan should have been a little bit bigger. I feel yeah, like Kosaka's yeah. and maybe because there's like more of her face entirely. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why. So yeah, so it feels like it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, so because I think it's yeah, the same those size. are uh, those are the jacket covers, three types. Um, mm-hmm. Not the best. Yeah, 
But uh, you know, it is what you it seem is. Better from Hinata, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, let's go to Keaki Saka. We uh, have a lot of newer stuff that Keaki dropped. Mm. Uh, specifically, some goods, boys. Oh. We got that wave. Japanese fans, please. Please, please help us. Help, <laughs> no, we got help Cho me. wavy style. Mm. Please. Mm-hmm. Right, I'll take so anything got, you can um, get. Me, yeah, we got that wavy spirally look. That was uh, That's kind of the cover of the single. Right, mm-hmm. On a shirt. Um, but then we got that tie dye, dude. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty dope. It like drips down from the shoulder. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, dude. And, and connects into the Kiyaki Zaka. That's pretty dope, dude. Mm-hmm. Dig it, man. I, could, I dig it. I can imagine that that in like a like cutting cutting the arms off and then just like walking around with that, and then it looks like it's just dripping like that, <laughs> dude. Fan, fan literal drip, fan. dude. <laughs> Literally any of this merchandise, if you can get it for me, I I will pay handsomely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we also got some masks, of course. Guys, mm-hmm. the mask case looks pretty cool. A mask. What are, yeah. what are these glasses, dude? They're like, what what size are they? Are they like shot glasses? What is this? Are they like Japanese water glasses? So shot glasses? <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> uh, you know, we got some keychains. Um, I like the. I kind of like the keychains. Mm-hmm. I like oh, the little gold? Uh, carabiner, like little little like pouch pouch thing. thing. Yeah, what is that? What, I don't even know what that's, that's cool. for. Is that like, which one? It's, uh, uh, it's the one with the little carabiner on it. I like the colors on that. That's that's mm-hmm. pretty cool, man. Is that like um, for like your ID or like? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You yeah, like... you can put whatever you want. You know, mm-hmm. that in there. And so, um, yeah, we we are open for the pre-orders because that's mm-hmm. how they what always do. What about the Taco Bell one? The wavy Taco Bell. <laughs> What? <laughs> the wavy Taco oh, Bell. The, the taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought Open whenever saw like, Taco Bell. <laughs> You're killing um, Taco Bell. <laughs> that's, that's the bell, dude. Oh, wait. There's a sticker set. No? No. P- pin? Yeah. It's a, oh, it's a badge. Uh-huh. Hmm. Um, it's a, so you um, get the um, bell and pins. the little Kiyaki Zaka. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's Just cool. buy I'll 10 like of those it. and then hide them in every Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> don't think it's part of the. <laughs> you need a lot more than ten, dude. I dig it. I dig it. That is the bell, you guys. There, who's gonna ring that shit? I don't know, man. Mm. We'll see. Um, yeah, pretty cool goods. Um, we always enjoy kayaki goods. Mm-hmm. We got yeah. some. Someone give me one of those towels. I like the towel. Some please, whatever the new style. group is, please, I beg you, keep this graphic designer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whoever whoever mm-hmm. you guys are going yeah. for, they've or they've been this killing team it. of designers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they they it's be. probably. Um, but yeah, Kiyaki also released the single came out this week. Dare ka sono kane wo narasu no ka. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, there's the special page for it that we took mm-hmm. a look at before. They added a few things, mainly the lyrics. Um, mm. uh, we can go down. Okay, so you can download on like iTunes and whatnot. It's also on Spotify. We got photos of the online live but with you i like how the lyrics are handwritten i'm guessing by the members Mm. uh, yeah like the handwriting is different like in all the lines Um, yeah it's pretty nice got got everyone to contribute in here um so yeah so much (laughs) um so they, they've been performing it. They performed it on Music Station, and then they performed it on um, CDTV most recently as of this mm-hmm. podcast recording. Mm-hmm. And then if you look at the lyrics, uh, it's the same as the, the, the ones that are written. Um, you know, it, it's written, I guess. <laughs> like the, mm-hmm. the subtitled lyrics. Yeah, like handwritten, um, right? It's written. Handwritten. Handwritten, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool. They're keeping that theme. Uh, and mm-hmm. it's, you know... Makes it a little bit more like personable, right? Because it's this is their last. It's kind of a big deal, right? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And so, also on CDTV, they performed the whole song, dude. Oh. No, sh- no TV they, they versions. Were, no short. They were versions. honored with the the full song because it's their last single. You know, mm-hmm. 
which I think a lot of fans appreciated. Yeah. Oh, I got I got to stop touching my thing cuz it's setting off my USB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Jingles um but yeah, so the, you know, the full song is out now. Have you guys listened to it? I have. I uh this is exactly what I mean why I I listen I I like to wait for an album version to to release before I make any comments on how a song sounds because I feel like listening to it fully mixed definitely increased my enjoyment of the song. Mm. Yeah, I actually really like the song. Um, yeah, I can do. I, I can do without. <laughs> I, it's on Spotify now. It's Josh. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I'll can, check it out. I'll check it like out. Like I, I can do without like the monologue. Sorry, pawn, but you know, mm. I think it, it fits a I, lot. I of feel the, like uh, the monologue has grown on me much in the way the the singing, talking, and say kindly, I wish you can die has grown on me. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. That's. I mean, but that's yeah. kind of their thing, right? Mm-hmm. So. uh uh, yeah, I, I actually, it's one of my my favorites now. It's become, it, it's kind of up there with with the, all, the yeah, rest of the yeah, singles yeah. that I like. Um, I I really like the. Uh, sorry about the USB thing. It's like freaking out. Uh, mm. I really like the contrast it has between uh, mm. the verse parts and the chorus parts. Mm. You know, it's like really gentle as like the the piano. Yeah, you know, you're singing yeah, softly. Yeah, yeah. But then when the chorus comes, like the drums go off and then yeah, like the guitar. Yeah, that, that little, that little, uh, I don't know, that little uh, synth trill, the mm-hmm. and then just. Yeah, yeah, I think it, <laughs> it delivers on like the intensity that people kind of yeah. recognize with Keaki Zaka, right? But at the same time, there's like that gentle part where it's just like the piano. So like, yeah, the instrumentation yeah. really uh, n- knocked it out for me. Like, I really like mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think it's a fitting last single. Like it's, it's, uh, it doesn't suck for it to be a last single for Kiaki. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because the last thing we wanted is one that wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. Especially for like their going out single. It's kind of bittersweet, right? Like it's, it's, mm-hmm. I think it's such a good song, but then it's mm-hmm. also their last. So it's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, didn't need to be. No, yeah. No, no. no. It's, like, it's, uh, it's, it's there's. I I I'm slowly coming to grips with it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like uh, it's. Mm-hmm. Like it's still frustrating because yeah, it still very much feels like okay. Clearly, you guys could have done it. I feel like you guys could have just kept going on, and and showing to the world, or at least not the world, but you know, like the fan base. That you guys are much more than than Hirate, Yurina, and friends. Mm. It would have been like right. a good like rising up story with mm. the what is it called? The underdog, right? Like underdog they're the underdogs story? trying to rise up. Well, that's Hinata. Mm. Even though yeah. you know, it's, it's a Sony. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the Hinata story, kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, but still, it's just like because I, I feel like that is also just as equally compelling of a story for Keiki Zaka 46, right? Because it's not like they asked for this. It's not like anyone could have prepared them for, for what happened, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Like, we as fans had, like, our, our, our issues and, and comments and opinions throughout the whole thing of, like, oh, oh, why why are they just doing Hirati Yuri no Ascender? But, like, no one... We even made a video on it. <laughs> yeah. But who could have really prepared them for, like, how much Japan fell in <laughs> love with this girl as center, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Like I, I feel like the closest thing fault. I can think of is uh Rev from DVL and Hashimoto Kana. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then Yeah, and like clearly but then that that's group not... wasn't much of an example for them to follow either. Right. Mm. That's kinda not to say that they did anything uh, wrong. I guess that's the same, but Rev from DVL's case is, is also different because that came later, right? It wasn't at the out start of a photo. Right. Yeah. Like if that photo mm. wasn't taken I, I don't know how much more popular Hashimoto Kana would have gotten, right? Like, mm-hmm. Whereas with Techi, they, like, they made that first single and like, okay, let's run with this, right? Well, I feel like, but, what is it? It, it? The first few singles, I don't think anyone would have faulted them for sticking with Techi Center, right? Yeah. Yeah. Be- because that's like, that's just, that's been they're the trying pattern. trying to solidify something. Yeah, like- they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to set an image. It's just that, for better or for worse, 
like the image of Hirata Yurina as the center of Kiyakizaka was so profound and so impactful that they could not break free of that. Yeah, it was just so right. ingrained in there, right? Yeah, as far as like the, the mainstream perception, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just too scared, man. They, they could not. Uh, yeah, do I mean, anything I, I, other I, than. I, I agree. I'm just saying that, like, this is what yeah. was, in my opinion, probably what was going on, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. They don't want to fight but, that um, uphill battle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to go back to the song real quick. Well, the, the, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the third performance they had on TV, and I think this is the best one so far. Oh, okay. um, better they, than they, their like, online concert? CDTV like did them a solid with this performance. Yo, they, yeah, like, they like even the put the logo at the end, and then yeah. like you know, and like all the confetti. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a like celebratory, but then it's like ah, oh, fuck, it's their last one, you know. Mm-hmm. And I actually really like the choreography too. I like they're like little yeah, shows. yeah. <laughs> it's nice, um, and then at the end where they like. You know, because you know they have the 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 patch on their chest, mm-hmm. and, like the move where she like grabs it and like kind of throws it away. It's like ooh, mm. but um, that hurt there's me. So much meaning. I'm not gonna lie, I understand. I understand it. I get it. But I'm like, ooh. yeah, yeah. Takahiro Sensei, oh. rip off the bandage. Just rip off the bandage. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, I like the song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also if you listen to the song. Continues from Kuroi Hitsuji. Um, mm. They threw in a little bit of that. There's like the footsteps and like people walking right at the end of Kuroi Hitsuji. Mm. It ends that way. And then at the beginning of this song, it starts the same way. So, what does this mean for the storyline of the music videos? Well, there's it's no the music end video of yet, the road. So, so it just ended. I don't so, think... so, so, she, so, Techi really did die in that music video. <laughs> no, we gotta wait yeah. for the music video, dude. We'll, we'll figure okay, it out. Okay, okay, okay. Also, Music Station connected that too. Um, mm-hmm. so. Yeah, because they had the, like, the little uh, VTR before, right? Mm-hmm. But um, mm. yeah, so that is the last single. Oh, Kiyakizaka. It's over, boys. But they're going to come back mm-hmm. better mm-hmm. than ever. Like we, like if you saw the trailer that Boy put out for last week's episode, they're going to come out like a phoenix. Yeah, like a, like a yeah, burning yeah. phoenix, guys. Hopefully it's not Jean Grey Phoenix, dude. Oh no, <laughs> Gene! <laughs> uh, but yeah, the song is also on their YouTube channel. You can just listen to it for free uh, mm-hmm. if you want. Mm-hmm. Get that wavy, yeah, dude. Yeah, so yeah wavy. I, I really, I'm, I'm really glad that we got the full version up on the YouTube. Uh, mm-hmm. I just really, wish that really they, they were my appreciation song. able to shoot a video. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe when it gets closer to October, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe like last live, they'll do something. But yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Mm-hmm. So that's Kiaki. Let's uh, let's move on now to Nogizaka forty six. Mm-hmm. The oh, news God. some of y'all have been waiting for, and some of y'all have not Ooh, been waiting babe. for. <laughs> let's go. Um, hold on, let me let me fix my Twitter. It keeps asking me to log in, so I will. Um, all right. Oh, shit. Let's keep not, positive vibes, <coughs> Danny. <coughs> not match I miss, okay. I miss anyway. something. Did I miss something? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm just. It's a pre-warn, pre-warning. Mm. Okay. Uh, Nakarakana is releasing her first photo book. It's, uh, also, her graduation photo book. Right? She's gonna graduate sometime. We don't have a date yet, but it's gonna be the photo book is gonna be released October 13th. Ooh, right before my birthday. I think I'll Ooh. buy myself a present. Let's go. Look at that. And as I long as they sh- are able to ship it. Right. And so, uh, yeah. Um, you know, obviously because of the pandemic, um, she can go outside of the country like all the other Sakamichi photo books. So mm-hmm. she just stayed in Tokyo um, and did some stuff. I mean, Tokyo is nice too, right? Like, yeah. There's nice yeah. things in Tokyo. Shrines and, and shit like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um so, uh, yeah, October 13th. It's shot by the same photographer who did Matsumura Sayuri's book and Wakatsuki Yumi's book. Um, mm-hmm. I like one, not so much the other. So it's mm-hmm. kind of... You know, when we did our top Sakamichi book ranking, 
Matsumura's book wasn't that high in my personal rank. <laughs> On mine, it was like bottom five. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? So, um, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Uh, looking at his other work, um, it was mostly gravy. Um, yeah. Recently, mm. I, I follow him on, on Instagram. Recently, he's been doing like a little bit more artistic stuff. Yeah. Okay. So but, it should be interesting it, to see how like that's get implemented. Yeah, if you look does. at the Sakamichi books that he did, they're very, uh, I guess, like closer to the personality of, of the member. He's yeah, shooting. yeah, for sure. And so um, we'll see. Yeah, because I have yeah. another book that he did from a not a Sakamichi idol mm. uh, and I quite like that but it was mostly studio um, oh okay so, yeah his studio shots are really good yeah uh, you know got like nice punchy colors as we can mm-hmm. see from kind of the, the first promo picture you know the red is really yeah, yeah. red mm. um, yeah so we'll see we got the Twitter and Instagram of course no just Twitter Twitter is uh, at Nakarakana underscore one st. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she's graduating. If you want to keep so it up, yeah. Maybe that's why they just like limited it to Twitter. Grad book kind of thing. The, mm-hmm. the Nikon Sports article. They wanted to explore more sexy shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, didn't like Nakara said tell that to the photographer or something? Yeah. Right? And he's like, like, oh, that's she, my... She herself wanted that, right? That is yeah. my specialty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do the gravy. Let's go. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's not, she's not like a lolly. <laughs> she's one of the older Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, they're kind of kind of as a full-grown woman. I, mm-hmm. I am okay with this. Yeah. She's like... She can make her decisions. Uh-huh. 20, 26 years old, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, so... She's allowed to have agency. I, I, I just don't... I don't know. I mean, okay. Before I get misunderstood, I just don't personally care to see her in that way. Mm. But um, I don't know. I uh, I hope that we get some of like her own fashion shoots and stuff like that, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. Like, I, I want to see like some cool fits, right, in the photo book. Yeah, dude. Let's see That's that. That's what I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I wouldn't be against the gravy shots. <laughs> I, I like her enough to where I'm interested. But yeah, I, like if it was more of her like street fashion style, that'd be cool too. Because mm-hmm. um, I think that's that's one of the things that's kind of missing from even Passport, I thought, was uh, some yeah, yeah, more sure. fashionable stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so Yeah, and especially with Naka kind of being who she is, I feel like I need some of those for sure. Yep. Uh, well, you know, we'll cover it when you know they release the covers and the title and everything. So it's it'll be released like a week or two, two weeks maybe after Umes book. So mm-hmm. yeah, we'll get back to that in the future. Yep. Let's keep going. Hopefully, covers coming out soon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Shirai Shimai has decided on her graduation concert. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was supposed to be in May, right? It was postponed. So they've decided it's going to be on October 28th, but it's a live streamed broadcast, Nama Haishin type mm. thing where you got to purchase tickets and whatnot. So I imagine it's the same as Kiaki and Hinata's concerts with you. Mm-hmm. They're like, she's like, yo, I want to graduate already. I know you guys want a big concert, but I'm ready to dip. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm out, dude. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> You guys can do this yeah. online thing or not. You know, it's up to you guys, but, but I'm going to leave this day. Yeah. So uh, she made the announcement on uh, her YouTube stream. Look at that. Quality so crispy, my end. Damn. Um, mm. uh, See, apparently had the a, quality a lot of technical was so high difficulties. That, it ha- that had problems because the bit rate was <laughs> the too high rate. and it was 1080p, <laughs> 60 frames per second. Ooh, they didn't have the streamer set up. Uh-uh. So. I don't know if the yeah, internet um, is not strong enough or whatever. Kaz and Sairingo showed up to celebrate. Mm-hmm. They also called Manatsu because mm-hmm. it's also Manatsu's birthday. They got beef. Um, but yeah, she made the announcement on the same stream. Um, shout outs to Inchan who translated the mm-hmm. announcement. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Follow her on, on Twitter. Um, mm-hmm. 
if you want. She's been on the show before, so go ahead. If you want subs, you know. So, so uh, did they did follow, they re-upload give her some this? Thanks. Is this is that why it looks super nice now? Uh no. I think they just no? cut it. Can oh, you once cut it was uploaded. Uploaded? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you, it just like naturally just cut all the parts I, disconnected I, or whatever. Mm-hmm. No, well, because the the stream started with her making cake, right? Because I, I watched the archive. Yeah, they, they yeah, couldn't yeah. get it to start, and so she's like putting frosting. The, ca- the camera was oh, like, oh hey, did it off? start? Hello? Yeah. Mm. So <laughs> Uh, and it looked good. Oh no, no because there's there's stuff before that. Oh, oh so there? then, then what, what? Then what is this? Because it says there's live chat replay and everything, but yeah, yeah that there, is there was the, like a section the before she started making the cake. She was like, yeah. "Oh hey everyone, w- welcome!" And then like it's like, "Oh, I think the camera's about to turn off," and then it turned off, and then like it turned back on, oh. and she's like, "Oh sorry for the mistake." Oh yeah, so today for my birthday, oh the camera's gonna turn off again, and uh, then like okay. eventually the cake came out, and then she started decorating. So maybe they it's just like, oh no, the like, camera. Mm-hmm. Cut that stuff wow. out. Uh, See, then... I, I, I understand your complaint. I'm just bringing this up because as someone who uh, was, you know, living responsible human being hours, I was asleep during this. So <laughs> Me too. Uh, yes. So I, I only watched it later and I was like, oh, this looks great, dude. What is what's uh-huh. going on? Yeah, that, me too. I, I watched it. I watched the archive. <laughs> you didn't Damn, go look through at the that struggle. Quality. You don't know the struggle, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Feel bad for y'all who, who stayed up. <laughs> It was a Sony camera. I heard the little shut off noise. Uh, I mean, it's probably the A7S III. Ooh. (laughs) Hey, you guys are a Sony group. Where's my wallet? From us here at Sony Cameras, you can have our new one. Yeah. Yeah, probably right. All right. How do we? How do we get signed by uh, Sony Music Japan? (sighs) Please. um, uh, I'll switch over. Let's um, um, audition for the next Sakamichi group, which are going to be all mm-hmm. guys to combat Jimmy, can you Johnny's. get us the hookup? Let's go. Oh, okay. I'll talk to my managers, dude. All right. All right. Sweet. All right. Manager son. Let's go. I'm just here for the cameras. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I, gradu- I graduate. I get to keep these. Though, right? um, yeah. <laughs> it's on Wednesday, so I got to make sure to make my schedule so I'm not working mm. Tuesday night, right? That is for me. So uh, mm-hmm. it's going to be after our podcast, right? Uh, live. Oh. Right? Or that same night or whatever. Stay mm-hmm. up and watch my end graduate. Mm. Let's go October 28th. Uh, I'll probably go to sleep. <laughs> I've always watched. Uh, be there in spirit. <laughs> I, I've always watched my OC graduate. Uh, well, from mm-hmm. AKB mm-hmm. at least, right? AKB at their theater. So whenever. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I always watch that shit. Even though I'm like. Mm. I don't like watching this. I'm, I'm there. I'm there as a as a fan. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just like <laughs> anyway. Uh let's talk about more Nogi stuff. Route 246 music video will not be released on YouTube. Yeah, but now now we know us. why. We we haven't been getting this music video. Mm. You bastards. No. Uh, <laughs> they're just gonna put it on the uh MV collection 2. Mm. Um, so just, if you want to see us it, for all we're yeah. worth, huh? What That's is, like what they is, put out the teaser. <laughs> what is this? Nogi? What, what is, is this? What? Do you think I care enough to buy this? <laughs> Y'all doing <laughs> you this I have dirty? Money to buy this? <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, hundred dollars, man. What's going There's on? There's a pandemic going on. I can't just willy nilly buy this for a majority what of music videos on? I've already seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all but uh, one. <laughs> we're gonna have to watch this. Uh, on their Blu-ray or whatever, if someone's kind enough to do a little sum sum, you know. <laughs> sum <But>, sum. Um, <laughs> uh, they have the list of all the music videos that are gonna be in the release. Mm-hmm. Disc one from Harujion to Sanban Menokaze. Mm. Disc two as Nige Mizu. Uh, wow, that's that damn twenty five. Oh no. wait. Dude, there's there's a lot. Mm-hmm. There's three discs. Crap. Three discs. I, I see they, why it is as much as it is. I'm still not <laughs> yeah. spending the money on yeah, this. Dude. <laughs> and they have. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get a book off and I go to Japan eventually mm-hmm. for like twenty dollars. My word. Uh, and then disc four has some making ofs. Mm-hmm. Oh, making okay, making of uh, the title songs and then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, making of the the coupling tracks. Mm, uh, interesting. Oh, okay. And then they also made the announcement of shooting new videos, right? For 
exist existing songs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the That's second gen song. We'll get a music video. Um, what else? A few others. Too much for me to. Yeah, it's a lot for me to parse about. through right now. Yeah. But that's cool. Um, I mean, okay. I, as much as I don't, we're, we're getting. Least, I think it's it's very it's least. very cool that we're we're getting a fair amount of new content in yeah. 1080p. Yeah, dude. The high quality, high bit rate Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Um, See, they also released. We we're, were talking oh. about it in the pre-show about like uh, audio files and stuff like that. But man, there is a big difference when you, when oh, you get yeah. a Blu-ray versus like. Streaming on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Oof, oh. so big. Mm. My eyes. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Makes sense, right? Because YouTube, a lot of people view it on mobile, so they don't need to mm. really get up there with the quality and the compression and all of that. It's like that. Yeah, the compression. Dude. Y'all don't mm. understand the compression. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to watch a YouTube video where there's a lot of confetti, dude. Then you oh, yeah. oh yeah, there's <laughs> a difference. Just all these giant, like giant squares these everywhere. Giant blocks, <laughs> not the confetti, yeah. dude. It's just uh-huh. the bit rate. Uh-huh. <laughs> but um, they also have the covers for the All MD Collection Two. It's basically just kind of screenshots from the videos. Um, nothing too special. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean. Yeah, um, there's also been those um, kind of member specific commercials, which are pretty funny, right? Oh, like yeah. Yoda trying to rap God the the titles of the songs, right? Mm-hmm. Where she like messes up a bunch. Mm-hmm. It's kind of mm-hmm. cute. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Yodo being Yodo, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's one with the Endo Sakura, uh, mm-hmm. where she she's like this person who doesn't know. Nogizaka, but then she's like, oh, wait, that's Asuka. And then she like becomes a fan mm-hmm. or whatever. <laughs> and then there's Psycho Uber Eats Sairingo. <laughs> she, she must be sponsored by them, right? <laughs> well, it's not like Uber Eats, but she's like delivering uh, food or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. This is one shot where like she gets really close to, to the wide angle lens and like her face is all warped. And then I saw a tweet where I was like, you know, anime characters are about to get serious when their face turns yeah, like this. Yeah, it's like that really, really <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Naruto, all the the super wide ankles. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, some some nice commercials there. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, they also like released a teaser for his, that second gen song. Yukurito Yukurito Sakuhana Sakuhana So it's the second chance Mm. Got a Mm -hmm. clip from when they did the Showroom concert Yeah Um, Yeah so Look out for that one There's a shot at like 53 seconds Where it's supposed to be some flowers In the the foreground And the camera's panning over around it And I'm like Oh uh, y'all could have y'all could have made that smoother, dude. It looks like it looks <laughs> yeah, like some of my my messed up gimbal shots from, that, that looks, from when we would shoot looks. things, dude. Dude, they just like wipe. <laughs> it's just like a wipe. Yeah, of the like, transition, uh, uh, wipe, wipe transition there. Right. <laughs> it just looks like it like it just cuts right because mm-hmm. the 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 part before they're already like running across, so it's like camera was already mm. panning. Um, plus it cut. cuts like because the camera's turning this way but then they start going this way so it's like even more yeah progressive yeah. Cut. yeah they could have i don't know i feel like they should have done like an actual like i don't know a, a mask cut, something you know? out like, <laughs> like whip mm. like whip it make it like a, a black transition and then transition mm-hmm. back to this way so mm-hmm. i don't know man that's kind of hard because yeah it is a kind of a directional issue but mm-hmm. it looks worse the more i look at it so i'm gonna stop yeah i was gonna say yeah, yeah just horizontally flipped it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is what it is, you know. Or yeah. we just cut it before it starts moving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, second gen fans, there you go. We got a new video coming in the MV collection, September 9th. Yep. And yep. so mm-hmm. that does it for all the current events. <sighs> Ooh. Plenty to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be right back with the TV show round. And 
And we're back. Hey, y'all know what time it is. It's time for the TV show roundup. It's the part of the show where we go back and talk about the shows that the members have been on the, this past week. You know, of course, that means they're regular shows. Uh, Hinata Zaka de Ama Show, Kyakite Kakenai, and Nogi Zaka Koji Chu. Yeah. But of course, you know, we got we got we got some other uh, appearances sometimes that uh, people might be might you know might be showing up in. Josh is typing out something. <laughs> Uh, well, well, yeah, what, they, we got, uh, what we got? Banana Sando, huh? They, uh, uh-huh. Not all of Nogizaga, but the Azo Ken trio. Asuka, Mizuki, mm-hmm. and Ume went on Banana Sando, mm-hmm. which is a talk show that is hosted by Banana Man and Sandwich Man. Get it? <laughs> Banana mm-hmm. Sandwich. Um, yeah, they were there promoting Azo Ken because it comes out soon. And so uh, it's just uh, being, being fun, I guess. Um, you know, Banana yeah. Man. In the episodes. Good relationship with Nogizaka, obviously. Uh, mm-hmm. Sandwich Man's there. Kiyakizaka's uncles. Um, there was the segment, I guess the majority of the show that it was, where they had like the, the concerns or whatever, the Nayami, right? But they didn't actually mm-hmm. focus on Nogizaka's. They talked about these mm-hmm. comedians instead. Um, the kudo gaining. Yeah, so they, you know, mm-hmm. they're not like super popular or whatever, right? Um, mm-hmm. What does that term mean? Like kudo, yeah, I don't know. The kudo gaining is that people who are blacklisted or is that people who like aren't that popular? No, like what does you know mean? those. I don't think they're blacklisted, right? Is that what it means? You know the hype dudes, the guys with the um, like the EDM music, the the first uh-huh, uh-huh. the first. Yeah, I've heard duo. that before. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. on. Uh-huh. They're like a regular on Uchi no Gaia, right? They're a Gaia mm, game. Yeah. But anyway, it would it would tell like one of the the comedian stories that are all sad and shit. But it's like, oh look, through comedy he achieved this, and now you know they're doing Owari, and you know they're fairly mm-hmm. successful or whatever, right? And then there was the one who um, it was the guy like one of the I think he was the boke of the duo. He like got bullied a bunch, right? And then his friend introduced him to like comedy or whatever, and then his friend died. But then he he mm-hmm. like he wanted to keep pursuing Owarai. and then the dad, his dad was like, "Oh, you get like a year, let's try it for a year, mm-hmm. and if it doesn't work out, then you know stop." But then he kept going, and then you know he he became a, a manzai duo and stuff. And so like his story was all touching, right? And so they get out there, they mm-hmm. tell the story. And they go out in front of like Nogizaka and, and Banana Sand. And then they do the little gag or like a little skit, whatever, manza, I think. And then the dude, he like messes up because he starts crying and stuff. <laughs> and so like Nogizaka and Banana Man Sandwich, when they're like, wait, what? Is, is this right? Is, is, this doesn't look yeah, right. They get up and they're like, oh. oh, oh. Mm. This doesn't, and so like he's like trying to go through the skit or whatever. But he's like messing mm. up because he's crying and stuff. Mm. And the yell at them was like, well, let us finish our skit. Like, don't interrupt yeah. us. <laughs> and so, like, Banana Man's like dying. They're like laughing so hard, but then they're also uh-huh. crying because, like, the because of yeah, his yeah. story and stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's like, oh shit, this <laughs> has like never happened. Look at uh-huh. uh, oh, that's great. And so, like, at th- there's also a section where um, uh, meet, uh, Yamashita talks about watching. What's the guy from Sandwich Man called? Date. Date. He watches. She watches his YouTube oh, yeah. channel yeah, yeah. of him eating, <laughs> and then she's like, "I enjoy it when you eat." And he's like, "Oh, okay. Uh, let, let's let's do it right now." Oh yeah. So then, like he does like a like a little a little like on the spot skit of like at a restaurant, get, getting you know, a miso soup and getting a a don, and then like but everything is like messed up. So he keeps on like like being the scummy, the scummy, and like just just reacting to everything. So it's like, all right, Yamashita, how about you try? Yeah. And she's like, like trying her best, but she doesn't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty enjoyable to see her like, like trying to do it. Mm. So like, uh, like the chair is really low. So like the table's up mm. here. Because it's like super small. Yeah. It's like, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they try to like, it's me or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and like the person with the water, like the waitress comes, mm-hmm. she starts pouring the water, but doesn't stop. So they're like, oh, no, 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 yeah. stop it. <laughs> And then Himura tries and it. And then uh, Himura, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, the waitress comes out, pours him the water. It's like, oh, she filled it up. Mm-hmm. So she sets the, mm-hmm. the pitcher down and, like, walks behind him and smacks him with the slipper. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's about to continue his, his thing. <laughs> the pack gets in the head. 
Uh, it's pretty funny. I didn't know Banana Man and, had, and Sandwich One Man had a show together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I, th- I, th- I think that was the first... Oh, was it? I don't know if that was mm. the first episode. If it's like it's new. a recent thing. Mm. I think this says something about that in the beginning. Yeah. Mm. So if you like that trio, the members who did Azo Ken movie, then check it out. Mm-hmm. But yep. let's talk about... Started like a year ago, chat says. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's talk about the regular shows we cover. Hina Ai is first. And um, they, they are talking about the members who have like, oh, I've never done this thing before. and But it's like super like common things. <laughs> so they're like, what's wrong with you people? They're like uh, one's mm-hmm. like using a can opener. <laughs> or like mm-hmm. folding paper planes. Didn't, they, didn't Nogizaka do this a while back? Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, 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 and their faces. That was a while back. <gasps> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, an old one. That's when. But that's, it's, a, it's a fun one. Yeah, it's a fun yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so they had a few of them go up there. I think it was like Mipan, Kawada, and mm-hmm. Otake. Was it Mipan? Yeah, was it Mipan? Uh, they had like three of them up there. And they were like different like tools. Um, and they had to try to mm-hmm. open this can. And only one is a can opener. Mm-hmm. There's like scissors. Um, mm-hmm. What else? Like, you know. Actual bottle opener. They, they don't have any like art bottle openers. Did you notice that? Yeah. Our can openers, like the twisty ones. It's, it's for like the cork, right? Like for wine and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but we have like our own, you know, it rotates as you, as you rotate the little wheel. Like it isn't like the manual one. Oh, the can yeah, opener. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, what you're yeah. talking about. Like, we had yeah. the one you, you clink and then you go... You, you, you rotate yeah, the thing. Yeah, and then it... They, uh, they just had, like, the, the yeah. like, thing that's sharp. I probably wouldn't know, like, how to use that yeah. one. I had to, like, try to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. They, I think... I think... I remember watching... It was either... Yeah, I think Nogizaka or AKB doing it. I was like, oh, so that's how you use one of those two. <laughs> yeah. Like, anyway. Um, my, my favorite part in that little segment was when Kawada, like, had the little, like... Corkscrew thing. She opened it. She's like, "Oh, this is oh, like, like, she, like she like, realized to, how it's supposed to work." Uh, like, "Oh, look at look at look at her face." She figured um, out something. She's just like poking uh, the top of yeah. the can. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was one part. Yeah, they talked about some other mm-hmm. things, but um, yeah. My highlight is uh, the paper planes one. Like they had uh, mm-hmm, May mm-hmm. May and like Me Pan again. And like Ushio, mm-hmm. they've never uh, made paper airplanes before. And it's like, all right, you guys can try. And then we had like the regular, like the normal people, right? Like Kumi and Kosaka now. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah, we've done all this. And so they had. Yeah, which were the constants, right? Throughout yeah, the whole, so they made paper the airplanes thing. too. And so like they had them throw one by one. And like <laughs> Higashibura Maze is <laughs> such a. She just like folded <laughs> one floppy, side. Yeah. Yeah. And she looks at Usho is like, oh, hey, we'll use the same paper. Nice. <laughs> and so like they... they yeah, because she, she, folded, she folded it half and then she folded it again the other side. She's like, all right, there's my airplane. <laughs> <laughs> and so they had him throw the airplane to see who went the farthest, right? And I was like, mm-hmm. okay, nice, you three. And let's have the, the normal people throw theirs. And it's like mm-hmm. Kumi. You know, nice like, looking nice, airplane. You know. You know. So they throw theirs and it's like goes not as far. It like just falls. <laughs> He just goes up and falls, and they're like, oh, shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, what the uh-huh. uh, they did more of that stuff, but it didn't actually like make it to the broadcast, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, It's kind of funny. I don't know. Yeah. I like the, my favorite moment was the the coffee section. And like the members oh, of Black yeah, Coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was Meepon. Like, she was like, <laughs> like, it was Meepon and who else? Hinano. Was, and she was like pouring it, was it super Hinano? slow. Mm. No, no, it, it was the iced coffee. Oh, uh, was it Kawada? It's probably Kawada. I don't know. Yeah, and Kawada's like, "Oh, how does it taste, Ma?" And she's like, "Oh, iced coffee, huh? <laughs> oh, it's good." <laughs> I like how um, it's like, why, why, "Why don't you try?" And she's like, she's like hesitating. She starts laughing at like in the middle, like like she was. And then the, they flash back to like the ghost story one. It's like, oh yeah, she oh, always yeah. laughs. And she tries it. She's like. I like okay, how, uh, what is it, Wakabayashi? It's like, ah, oh, Mipan, I know you haven't tried coffee before. You what, You probably drink like melon soda and stuff all the time. She's like, oh, how'd you know? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right, man. How'd you know? Like, what? <laughs> what? That's me, dude. That's me now. What do you mean? Um, <laughs> Give me that melon soda, dude. Ooh, melon soda so good, though. Yeah, I mean, can't blame bread. But, you know. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Truly a baka. But, uh, I mean, it's it's pretty worth watching. There's some funny moments in this episode. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, let's let's go to the next one. Keakite kakenai. We are continuing mm-hmm. the Sugai-sama versus Yumiko Kaicho battle. We are playing various games, right? The first one they did was the they had to translate to Keigo, right? Like proper uh, formal mm. speech and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they, they had the quiz section, but instead of trying to answer the quickest, they had their peasants or their commoners <laughs> yeah, battle yeah, yeah, for yeah. the... <laughs> Uh, the right to yeah. answer and then they played a bunch of different games for that and then the last thing was like mm-hmm. this Russian roulette thing with the facts uh, only one mm. was not true right and so their their peasants mm-hmm. had to do like had to pick from five different choices uh, or mm-hmm. else mm-hmm. their ojo sama will suffer the consequences mm. and so what were some of your highlights uh, uh, the one that I liked was with Akane. Oh, they had to do the, oh, the battle beach. with the uh, beach yeah, flag yeah, thing yeah. with yeah. Uh, Morita. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It was it was enjoyable for me because of course it has Akane in it. You know, trying her best, going all out. Mm. But then Morita over there, like <laughs> for the last one, she's like, "I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." And, like Ren's just don't mess up. <laughs> like, I just can't beat her. Dude. I, just can't. I like when they interview her too. It's like, oh, you you got any like Morita? You're pretty fast, right? She's like, yeah, but that's a. That's Akanet right there. <laughs> I like how they're like, uh, I'm just here for this part. This is why I came today. <laughs> right? Yeah, did you just come and collect your check to do this one part? Truly a peasant. <laughs> <Yeah. dude. laughs> Commoners, dude. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think, what is it? The uh, Without going into your highlight, I, I really enjoyed the roulette, just especially the, the Seki part, because mm. of just uh, mainly the, the set dressing. Yeah. You know, like uh, they didn't have to go all out and have this whole like, these are the strings you cut. And if you thing. cut the right one, it's going to release the the pot onto to Seki's head. But like, you know, like I always appreciate when they have something really yeah, yeah. outlandish like, like that. They could have just picked just the number. The whole thing. Right? Yeah. And if it's wrong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like yeah. Seki's setup was the, the pan over your head. with this, mm-hmm. like if, you, if they cut the wrong one, it falls on her head, right? So. Mm-hmm. I just wish that... Uh, Sue guy was a little bit more uh, over the top, you know. Hers is kind of straightforward. It's just like the, the pie on the little pie thing. The face. It should have been. It should have been the cannon, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like something super, like mm-hmm. I don't know, just uh, physically, like or yeah, visually, yeah. very funny. I think would have mm-hmm. made it really good. But um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or even yeah, like but, something falling on her, right? Like the the the, the flower stuff. Like I know they do mm-hmm. that sometimes. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I I do agree with boys highlight though. Yeah, my highlight was when, um, because they obviously they know which like the Ojo Sama they know which one's wrong, and so like <laughs> both their commoners pick the wrong one and their reactions are the best. Mm-hmm. Seki just starts laughing like, "Oh <laughs> fuck, it's over, dude!" <laughs> yeah. They're like, "Oh, Kaicho, what's wrong, Kaicho?" What's wrong? <laughs> like, yo, Seki has been like just chill this entire yeah. time, dude, and then now, as soon as uh. Who, who was it? it was um, Matsuda, Matsuda. Uh, Matsuda, right? She was the last one. Mm-hmm. She was like, mm-hmm. as soon as she picked hers, Seki was just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, well, fuck, comes. dude. <laughs> Obviously, the thing hits her head. Uh, they're like, no. They didn't, they didn't show Sugai's actual like moment when she broke character yeah. un- until the, the recap. Like, but mm-hmm. if you watch it, you can see her her fist are clinched. <laughs> right? As soon as uh, <laughs> Uemu well, says it, she's just like, because Uemo was like, oh, I'd pick like number two, but I don't think that'll like mm-hmm. she'll do that. So she's like, she goes for the swerve. I'll pick number one. And Suga's like, oh mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was funny because it was like the first person to go up. She like mm-hmm. immediately ends the segment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uemo just looking out for the for the people editing, you know. Yeah, it's like, oh, thanks. I'm gonna save you guys some time editing. Thank you. So that was very good. I mean, some of the other games so, yeah, were fun. We got to wrap the show up. Moose like, I got you. Yeah. Um, what was it? They did like the the harness thing with Pe and Rico. Rico, Rico Pe. Oh, yeah. You saw that low center of gravity, right, Rico Jimmy? Pe. Oh, you, you caught it. I was about to say <laughs> it. it. I was I about it, to yeah. say it. I'm, pr- I'm proud of you, dude. Proud of you. Um, we also had the sumo thing, but like the speaker. So they yell at, at a mic and like the reverberations. Oh, yeah. Funny, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Pum, 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 what are you going to say? Shut up. Pum, pum, pum. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, say. <laughs> that was pretty good uh and then they also had the the flower where they had to like look for the candy in the flower yeah, mm-hmm. i feel I, like I, if i did that i'd like breathe it in by accident and be choking on myself. yeah dude yeah yeah, yeah. I, I feel like uh what is it most of the questions were pretty easy yeah it was more of right? the the peasants having to do their mm. their games yeah, yeah. Rather than, because it's like, like it's yeah, it's obviously carrot. easy for the Ojo sama to answer. It's like, but will they get to yeah. when if they are, if they're? But some of the ones they didn't know though. That's I'm like, like what is uh, class? What is what is Dom Peri, dude? I'm like, oh, you guys don't know that Dom Peri dude. <laughs> you guys never pop bottles, dude. Come on, right? Come on, your guy, your dude. parents haven't celebrated, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, but or yeah. Uh, what is it? Yeah, that dumb P, dude. Or uh, what was the questions? It was like, oh, okay, what was it? Uh, what are the, the, the C's of uh, rating diamonds? It's like clarity. Oh, they got that right. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then they got that one. And then there was uh, the Michelin, they got right. Michelin, oh. uh, what is like the, the guidebook? Guidebook, right? Mm-hmm. And then uh, it was, yeah, like. Oh, is economy <clears throat> like when you're buying tickets for a plane? It's economy class, uh, business, business, and then what's the next one? I was my only thing was like, maybe I don't know this because of a uh, maybe it's something different in Japanese. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I never, I never like actually that, yeah. took the time to to look it up. Mm-hmm. Seki goes premium class. I'm like, oh. maybe she over. <laughs> I don't think she was over. <laughs> <it>. still classy. <laughs> Overthinking like, oh. it, you know. Of course, yeah. Because uh-huh. some some there is. There's so, like premium economy, and there's like. The tears in the mm-hmm. middle yeah, yeah. and shit. Maybe that's what she was thinking, like premium in a Maybe. Maybe it's like mm-hmm. too specific, you know? Uh, mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, it's a pretty fun episode. Next week, we get the news, or is it all second gen? Anyway, they got the f- physical, like, test. Thing, Ooh. Uh, you know, where they sprint and whatnot. So, it should be mm-hmm. fun. I'm looking forward to that. But um, last show is uh, Nogi Chu. No Gizaka Koji Chu. Mm-hmm. We're continuing with the, the rules that the the newer generation members don't really know yet, right? So Shibata Yuno's mm-hmm. is like, what about the what of the bento? Sometimes there's fish and meat, and I'm like, should I take the meat bento? Uh-huh. Matsumura's always like, well, I actually prefer the fish. And they're like, God damn it, why are you being so difficult, man? Freaking Matsumura say. <laughs> Always. She's like the me of the group. <laughs> God damn it. Stop this. Um, and then Yodo is like, what of the nicknames? You know? Sometimes mm. I don't know. Like, you'll, you'll tell me to call you a thing, but I don't know if it's just for that time or forever. Mm. So Kazumin is like, call, call me Zoo san? Or, or whatever. <laughs> It's kind of funny. She's I think it was either Zusan or Zuchan. Yeah, yeah. So they, they kind of try to decide what the newer members should call the senpai members. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then they switch gears to another segment um, where they, they get their prize from the video game episodes, right? It's like, what are you going to do if we, if mm-hmm. we win, though? And Banana Man's like, well, I'll... Uh, buy you curry yeah, you can you can eat some curry like, okay cool so mm-hmm. Shitara and Himura uh, each got them curry only the the people who who won against them on the video games though. yeah and then Samia raised there and like why are you here it's like well I was part of the <laughs> you just didn't show me win against you man what <laughs> the just hell cut me out <laughs> I got cut I'm like oh we're and so Shitara uh-huh. um, I feel like she wasn't even in that episode that much like compared to everyone I, yeah else. I didn't remember her being in that episode because I guess they cut everything uh-huh. but yeah. um, oh, I remember her saying like Oishi that's all <laughs> yeah and so Shitara got like a uh, Indian curry right with the naan with the naan and everything so many uh, puns and shit in there oh, the chicken uh-huh. and then Banana Man got them like Japanese curry but it's not regular Japanese curry it's like it's dashi in it or whatever so mm-hmm. funny, they're like Banana Man's asking Nogizaka how they think of the curry, right? To try to give a food report. Mm-hmm. But Nogizaka's giving like stupid answers. <laughs> uh-huh. 
And they're like, God damn. All right. How, what do you think about the curry, huh? <laughs> and it kind of goes, oh, was, it's, uh, it's good with rice. Like, oh, man. God damn it, dude. Mumble Girls was my favorite one. She was like, oh, this tastes very nostalgic. And then like, oh, yeah. How so? And she's like, it, it tasted like something I ate like in preschool. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, oh, same here. I, I want a good report from you, Samia. It's like, oh, it's it's like a it's mm-hmm. like an amusement park. And they're like, oh, humor I have no idea what's going. On. <laughs> what was she talking about? <laughs> what one. is this meaning? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Um, it's pretty funny because of that. They're, they're like giving stupid answers, and Banana Man's mm-hmm. getting like mm-hmm. more frustrated. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm yeah, telling, yeah. I'm asking you yeah. what you yeah. think of the curry. You gotta say something new. Why are you eating <laughs> the dessert? You. God damn it! What are you doing? <laughs> 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. No, all you need the dessert. It's like, no, this is a curry report. Stop eating the dessert. <laughs> it's like, oh, she knew she's already eating the chicken. What the heck, man? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first thing what she about eats the curry? Is the chicken instead of the curry. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was Nogichu. Two parts. Mm-hmm. Enjoyable. It's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. The curry part went, went, went a little bit too long, but I feel like if you could understand it, then it's really funny. Maybe you want to eat curry, man. Damn, it's been a while. Yeah, I had I any kind of curry. Yeah. Japanese curry. Indian and our curry, curry house closed down. Yeah, dude. Right? Yeah. When in LA. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. And then the episode was called Banana Man Curry House. And I was just like, oh, sad. Yeah, dude. You need to find a better, a newer place. Uh-huh. I haven't had curry in so long. Search around. <sighs> mm-hmm. Same. <sighs> and I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. I mean, there's probably like Indian restaurants around me that I just haven't gone to. <laughs> but Indian curry is different. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different, right? I mean, it's still good, but yeah. Also, was it just me, or did Saika look like she wasn't enjoying the curry? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like she's like totally different now from when they made their mm. initial debut. You know, she's mm. trying to be all proper and shit. Because she used to be like all goofy. Yeah, she's and not stuff. like rambunctious child yeah. anymore. What happened to you? Mm. I'm, I, I brought my, my switch to play Smash Brothers on top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what happened? I mean, she tried to give like proper answers to Banana Man and stuff. Uh-huh. What are you doing, bro? Mm. She's at that age, dude. Just, yeah, just yeah. gotta give it to her. She's at that age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She wants to be a demure young lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that does it for Nogichu and the TV show Roundup. So you know what that means? Means that's it for this week's podcast. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Uh, you can always give us a little comment down below. Let us know what you think of the episode. Uh, if you have anything you want to add to the discussion, maybe your your personal top five uh, Hinata Zaka A-sides or anything else. Um, if not, uh, you can always follow us on Twitch. Keep up to date with us on Twitter. Or Oh, I'm all over the place. Uh, <laughs> you can always follow us on Twitch to, to hang, come hang out with us for the live shows, uh, where we're live every Tuesdays around 7 Pacific time. Or uh, follow us on, on Twitter so you want to stay up to date with us. Uh, but that's going to be it from us for now. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.